going to make some dinner and I thought maybe you might like to see what I have been surviving on for the last month. And that is burritos. I've had burritos for dinner and lunch, well, and breakfast too, almost every day for the last month. I should mention that it may be a little noisy. Uh, it's been pretty rainy today. Yes, I'm in Southern California. And yes, it's been rainy today. And it's been quite rainy at times. Okay, so I got a little mise en place to do. So since I've got a cabbage to chop up here, a little bit anyway, um, I decided to get out my good knife. This is a Mac. And this is a Japanese-made knife. It's made in Japan. And uh, I just love this knife. It's just... It, it's... It's just a joy to use. It's just a whisper of a knife. It's really thin and super lightweight, but it's got a great handle on it. And usually I don't use it because this is my cutting board. This is a tiny little cutting board. Um, this is made by Epicurean. Uh, I think this is an eight inch chef's knife. And so it's kind of pushing the limits with uh, the size of cutting board I have here. So I don't usually use this knife, but a pet peeve of mine is cabbage that is chopped very large. I like it chopped, or I like it really finely uh, sliced. So if you have a mandolin, that would be a better way to go, but I don't have one here in the van. So uh, you might be asking yourself why have I been eating burritos every day for lunch and dinner? And breakfast too, I guess. Um, and that really is because, well, this knife, I see this knife has not fared well in the time I haven't used it. It's gotten a little dull, so this is going to be a little tricky. Um, my only large knife, so I'm going to have to just work through, but I think I'm going to have to get this sharpened. Um, anyway, uh, I decided that I wanted to take some time off of work, so I quit my job and headed out on a little road trip, and unfortunately, I don't have a lot of money saved up. Um, and I know I live in a van and I should be filthy rich. I know that's what everybody says, but you know, van life is not as cheap as people tell you it is. And also, I didn't make much money. Um, you know, if I was paid really well, I could have socked away a lot more money, but um, if you're not paid real well, you don't have that much money to save. I mean, that's just the simple fact of the matter. So, um, this is proving to be a little difficult. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna say that's as much cabbage as I need. So that'll be good there. I also need some cheese, which I guess I'll just slice that up. I'm trying a little experiment in wrapping up my cheese in. Uh, wax paper instead of a plastic bag, and I just keep the uh, rubber band around it. We'll see how that works out. Uh, so back to my finances. Um, I realized that if I was going to take much time off, I would have to cut back on my spending. So since I don't have a lot of money in the bank, I looked at what I normally spend the most amount of money on, and one of the things I spend the most amount of money on is food. And so I figured if I just kind of cut back on what I am spending uh, food wise, that'll help uh, keep me out on the road a little bit longer. I will have to go back to work eventually, but, um, but as long as I can kind of keep my, keep my finances in check, I can uh, stay out for a little bit longer. So that's the plan. So, I've been doing a lot of burritos, and that, 
I know that doesn't sound like it would be uh, very appetizing day after day, but um, I've been changing them up a little bit. So I made some rice earlier, and so that's all ready to go. I'm just going to set that aside. And then earlier today, when it was really pouring, I jumped in the van to kind of dry off and warm up a little bit, and I cooked up some ground beef. I normally don't like ground beef, but um, this is actually decent ground beef. It's grass-fed uh, from Trader Joe's. It wasn't very expensive, so, um, so I just cooked up the whole pack and then put it aside. And I've got some just cheap old pinto beans. And I have been buying cheap old flour tortillas from Trader Joe's, too. Trader Joe's has been a staple for me, if I can find it on this road trip. Okay, I think mise en place is done. Let me get this stove on. This $25 stove has been just incredible. It works every time all the time. I use it several times a day, uh, usually making coffee, but uh, here I'm just happen, happen to be using it for a burrito. Um, all right, so we got that going and kind of heat up all the ingredients here. I am a little hungry because I have been out walking around all day and got stuck in the rain several times today. I got quite wet at one point. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's been a nice little change from just sun and uh, blue skies. <laughs> Am I not complaining? Am I being facetious? I don't remember if I mentioned it, but earlier when I cooked up the ground beef, I added a little, a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of chipotle powder and, of course, some salt, so it's nicely seasoned. Okay, small space is always a little difficult here. I'm going to set that aside and warm up my tortilla. Don't need that anymore. Let's set this back over here. And now build the uh, build the burritos. Now, I was thinking earlier today that even the smallest of things can make the biggest difference and um, so with that thought in mind I went and bought a little more of this yellow bird hot sauce. Uh, this is my absolute favorite hot sauce. Now they call it condiment. Um, this is the Serrano one um so it doesn't have any tomatoes in it it's just uh it's just chilies and um i have been since i have been not working and trying to watch my finances i've not been wanting to buy this hot sauce because uh, it is a little bit pricey now it's pricey because it's got really good ingredients i mean if you look at the ingredients there's nothing bad in here. I mean, this is all just real stuff. There's no fillers. There's no artificial stuff. It's just real good stuff. And uh, I think that's why it tastes so good. Uh, really and truly, this is the best jarred or bought hot sauce I've ever had. Uh, so I was starting to run out of it the other day, I noticed. And so I just realized I need to just buy some, buy some more. And uh, I think this was about seven bucks for this bottle. This is a 19.6 ounce bottle. So, um, so not terribly expensive, I don't think. But uh, in my opinion, if I'm just gonna survive on burritos, burritos almost every day, I need them to taste really good. And being that this is the best hot sauce I've ever had and my favorite hot sauce ever, I figured, you know, I'm just going to buy some because really I don't really need that much of it. And it just really helps 
elevate my simple burritos here. I would have liked a little more cabbage, but just kind of even that out a little bit. And even though I am using some ground beef here, I'm going to add some nutritional yeast to these as well. I've been using a lot of this, and I, I really just like the flavor of it, but also it's just a great source of B vitamins. You know, when you cook red meat uh, well done, you cook the B vitamins out of it. So even though I've got plenty of protein in here, I have cooked all the B vitamins out of it. So, man, that's really what I want. And then I think I'm just going to add a little more of this hot sauce here. Might as well, right? So these may not be the most exciting burritos. They might not be the uh, most exciting thing to eat every day. But uh, by saving a little money and splurging when it's necessary, I think I found a really good way to control my finances and still stay happy and well-fed and nourished. And I think that just means that uh, even the littlest of things can make the biggest of differences. And uh, I'm happy to have a little bit of spice here. And I'm happy that I can afford to take a little trip and take a little time off of work. And really, I'm not suffering at all, even though all I'm doing is eating burritos pretty much every day.